Hello! Lately we've had a lot of interest in mutes and to some degree people get confused whether they need a practice mute, or an orchestral mute, so on and so forth. Today we'll take you through the different styles and what best suits your needs. We'll start with the most popular mute, the orchestral mute. These are used or well, predominantly in performance settings um, and we keep two styles of the violin one. We'll go through fitting the orchestral mute. I'm going to show you how to fit the taut style, the circle option, first. It's made of rubber so it's really easy to fit um, and there's a simple method. The mute fits on the middle two strings. These two little holes are designed to house each string. Simply place the mute in between the strings and turn. Slide it back when you are not needing to have the mute Slide it onto the top of the bridge, the little lip sits over the front, just like that. We'll go ahead and have a listen now. Hopefully the microphone is sensitive enough to hear the way in which it does alter the sound. It's often best heard in an orchestral setting, when an entire section you know, puts the mute on, the, the, the difference can be really something very special. Here it is, unmuted. <laughs> Now on. So you can hear a somewhat dampened sound. Where orchestral mutes are concerned, we do keep another style. This one's referred to as the violin shape style mute. Um, serves an identical purpose, um, very, very similar method of fitting it on. You'll notice it only has one hole, so it fits on a singular string. I'd suggest the D string. We slide it on, again, not engaged when wanting to mute the sound. Slide it up, sit it on the bridge. Okay, so if your teacher's told you that you need a mute in a performance capacity, it's certainly an orchestral mute you're in need of. There is another style of mute, a practice mute often used by people who live in apartment buildings, share housing, practicing late at night, close quarters, whatever it is. This is our most commonly sold practice mute. I'll show you how to fit that on and how it sounds. So fitting the practice mute is pretty straightforward. It looks like a comb. Each space in the rubber is designed to fit between your strings. Let's have a listen to how it sounds. Take it off. So it really cuts out a lot of those high frequencies. So perfect for not waking the neighbors. So there we have it, the exciting world of mutes. Do remember that we keep violin, viola, cello, double bass, orchestral and practice mutes, alongside a range of specialty mutes. I hope this video helped.